Hello fellow math enthusiasts. This video is about circles. Circles diameter and circles area and how the two relate. And it's about the common misconception that if diameter doubles, then the area of the circle will double with it. It sounds logical after all. You double one thing, you double the other. No, unfortunately, it's incorrect. In this video, I'll show you and explain what happens to the area when the diameter of a circle gets doubled. This also applies, the circle problem applies to the piping trades. So pipe fitting, sprinkler fitting, you name it. If you replace a six inch diameter pipe with a 12 inch diameter pipe, the flow in the 12 inch diameter pipe will be way more than double the flow in a, in a six inch pipe, okay? It's, so it's, it's not double, it's another number. I'll show you what number that is. This was prompted not by pipe fitting issues, but by this Google search here that's appearing on somebody's uh, Snapchat here, and it's about biology. <clears throat> this was Googled, and this is what Google returned, and unfortunately this is incorrect since 2019, October 10. And um, just take a moment to read it. I'm not gonna discuss biology, and how tissue can stretch or the nocturnal habits of raccoons. But in this video, I'm just gonna work with these numbers, the four, and I'm gonna pretend that's an eight because it's about doubling or almost two. So it's almost doubling. So this is the rest of the post there. And uh, one might be thankful to know this, but this is knowing wrong. And in uh, applied math, you need to know right. So. More than two raccoons fit into an eight inch diameter circle. So this, again, is the underlying issue is about a misconception in math about how a circle's radius or diameter and uh, area relate to each other. So let's review here quickly uh, the uh, terminology that's involved very simply. The circle is blue and the area of it is the whole area everything inside the circle the diameter of the circle goes from the circumference or the edge of the circle to the other edge of the circle and goes through the middle here the center of the circle or origin and the radius does not the radius goes only from the edge anywhere from the edge like wherever you can draw radius anywhere you can also draw diameter anywhere you like as long as it goes from edge to edge and goes through the middle, it will be a diameter. So there are infinite number of diameters and likewise infinite number of radii, that's radius is infinite number of radii in a circle, but a radius is half as long as the diameter. So there's a halving or doubling here involved between radius and diameter. And uh, the, so again, the area of the circle is just everything inside the circle. Typically in math books, the formula for calculating the area of the circle is given something like this up here, pi r squared or r squared pi, either which way multiplication is commutative. And in pipe fitting trades, this formula is used because pipes are named after their diameter, I don't know, six inch pipe, eight inch pipe, four inch pipe, whatever. And so it's just easier to work with diameter, but then you have a division here in it that's not featured in that formula where radius is featured. And this can give you a hint of what's coming if you see radius is doubled here to make diameter. And due to this doubling, there is an extra number here that isn't featured in this original formula. So with doubling things, are not just predictably doubled. The size of the pipe or the flow of the pipe doesn't just get doubled. So this formula here is exactly the same as this formula here. It's just printed. This is how you enter it in a calculator. There's a multiplication there between pi and diameter and pi and radius there. But same multiplication there, but this is in a fraction format. It's exactly the same thing. So let's take a look at a sample calculation here with a four inch pipe and an eight inch pipe. Let me just size up the screen and a little more. So side by side, four inch pipe versus eight inch pipe. You can see what happens. The uh, area is calculated in both cases. So here four and here eight, 
are the numbers that are plugged into here for diameter. Pi is this 3.14, gets multiplied by 4 squared, that's 16, and here 8 times 8 is 8 squared, 64, and then there's division by 4, and those are your final answers. Obviously, one is not double of another, even though the diameter is doubled. So if it's, this is 12 point something, this should be 24 point something or 25, whatever. It's not. So how many of these fit into how many of these or one of these? If you divide this number with this number, what you're going to find is this. We're back to a number four that was also featured in this diameter formula when radius is doubled number four is needed in the formula to get to the same area so we have roughly a number four here is because these are infinite decimal numbers so there's more digits to them and if you entered all of those digits then you would get zero point more sorry four point zero 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 more zeros and you would still have some numbers there because infinite decimal numbers don't work that way, but you can kind of see it's all tending to be four. So four, four inch pipes fit into a single eight inch pipe. Now, don't try it in a um, in the backyard or whatever, because pipes don't fit into each other, but this is a mathematical fit with water would be ideal or anything, any kind of liquid or gas that fills the pipe flawlessly because rigid pipes, if you're trying to put this paper towel or whatever, just, just if you're trying to stack pipe into pipe, you know that there's little air gaps, whatever, um, around the pipes because they do not fit perfectly to each other. And likewise, skulls of raccoons or whatever and uh, pelvises of raccoons don't uh, if you if you try to squeeze four raccoons through an eight inch waste pipe or drain pipe or whatever four of them won't fit they have ears whatever and so it's not gonna work but if you fill the pipes with water like i said then you will find that the capacity of an eight inch pipe is four times that of the capacity of a four inch pipe so i have an algebra algebraic approach to show you that this is exactly four and uh, this is fairly straightforward here. So here is the original formula, and algebra would tell you that, hey, what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side of the equation, and it looks like if you're doubling one side, you should be doubling the other side, and that's, again, logical, And but that's not how math works. So what I'm doing here is I'm replacing, I'm removing the letters A, pi, and D, and just look at a fraction, just, just a single fraction here, which is looking like this. Two in the numerator and four in the denominator. Obviously this four is just stolen from there. So two squared is four, and four over four is the fraction one. So one is not the area because there's no pi and there's no diameter anymore. Just work with it as a fraction. So what happens when we double the numerator and then square it? So down here, I doubled it, it's four and double it again, now it's eight. Obviously four times four is 16, and eight times eight times eight is 64, and 16 over four is, reduces to four, and 64 over four reduces to 16. So from here to here, the value of the fraction quadruples, and from here to here, the value of this fraction quadruples. So if you double the number in the numerator, and then square it, then the value of the fraction quadruples. That's why this number here is exactly four. Just ignore the decimal digits because this formula here for the circles, circles diameter, whatever is, circles area is a fraction. That's why I printed it this way. So the reason why this doubling results in a quadrupling of the area because it's not just that the, that the numerator is doubled, but it's doubled and squared, okay? So doubling and squaring just means quadrupling on this side. That's ultimately why if diameter doubles, area will quadruple. Just forget the raccoons.